Welcome to the introduction to Package CCE Deployment presentation. This presentation will help you better understand what Package CCE is. It covers the components and features found in this product, as well as the deployment design. Package CCE delivers Cisco Contact Center Enterprise on a single unified computing system, the UCS C260 series server. Due to the redundancy requirement, two UCS C260 servers will be required for deployment. These servers are commonly referred to as Side A and Side B. It is a predefined and bounded solution. This reduces pre-sales time since no design is necessary. It provides a robust tested solution made up of the following five components. Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise, Cisco Unified Customer Voice Portal, Cisco Unified Intelligence Center, Cisco Unified Communications Manager, and Cisco Finesse. Each of these components run as a virtual server on the UCS C260 platform. While there are only five components, in most cases there will be more than five virtual machines, since some of the components require multiple instances. Let's begin by looking at a network topology. Each side represents a single UCS server. Side A will have a total of nine virtual machines running, and Side B will have eight. The actual numbers in the environment may vary due to the various deployment requirements. For example, if a customer already has a unified communication server running on another server, then the communications manager virtual machine may not be required. Let's take a closer look at each of these virtual machines and discuss the purpose of each. The CCE call server functions as the call router and makes all routing decisions on how to route the call or customer contact. This server will also act as the peripheral gateway, which is used to interface with the communication manager. It will also function as the CTI object server, which is used to interface to the agent desktops. The CCE data server functions as the logger, which is the database server that stores contact center configuration data and stores historical reporting data for distribution to the data servers. It also functions as the administration and real-time data server, also known as the AW. The customer voice portal, commonly referred to as CVP, provides prompting, collecting, queuing, and call control services using standard web-based technologies. The Unified Communications Manager is the call processing component of the Cisco Unified Communications solution. The publisher is responsible for storing the read-write database. Devices such as phones and gateways typically register to subscribers. Cisco Unified Intelligence Center is a web-based reporting application that provides real-time and historical reporting in an easy-to-use, wizard-based application for Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise and Cisco Voice Portal. Cisco Finesse is the new agent and supervisor desktop for Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise. A critical characteristic of Finesse is that every desktop is 100% browser-based and yet still allows for the creation of a personalized desktop work environment. CVP OAMP provides a web-based operation console used for maintaining the CVP cluster. OAMP stands for Operations, Administration, Management, and Provisioning. CVP reporting collects information from CVP components and the CVP call servers and imports it into the CVP reporting server. Intelligence Center can then access this data and reports can be ran against it. The UCCE call server and data server contain the call routing and ACD components of the package CCE solution. As such, these components must work in concert with each other and remain equalized at all times in order to provide for carrier level fault tolerance. Therefore, these servers must have what is referred to as a private network. This private network, using a separate network interface, is used for private communications between the same side call server and data server, as well as communications between the duplex pairs. This ensures that if any of these components fail, the system will continue to route calls without interruption. The public network is used for all normal communications between the solution's other components. Package CCE is a fairly comprehensive contact center solution. The following features are available on the UCS C260. There is no need for sizing to enable these features. These features include 
a new web-based administration tool that streamlines the CCE administration process by reducing the number of steps required and focusing on usability. Capacity management and deployment validation, which is used to determine if the deployment is a valid PCCE deployment. Finesse, which is the new web-based agent desktop. Outbound option, used for campaign dialing. Precision routing, which is a more granular routing based on agent's attributes and proficiency levels. Agent greeting, which is a pre-recorded agent greeting that is presented to the caller directly before the call is connected. Courtesy callback, which allows a caller to be placed into a queue, disconnected, and then called back when the agent becomes available. Post-call survey, which is an IVR script used to take post-call customer satisfaction survey. CVP reporting, which is historical reporting function for the CVP product. Predefined base configuration, this reduces install time and takes care of configuring fixed aspects of the deployment. Back office phone support, phones that are not agent phones may now register to the package CCE communication manager. Database integration via CVP, this is the ability to connect to and access an external database or CRM for database read-write activities. Whisper Announce, which plays a message that only the agent hears. Unified Communications Manager based silent monitoring, which allows a supervisor to monitor an agent's active call. Mobile Agent, which allows an agent to work remotely. The following features are also available, but must be ran off-box. For extended data retention period or connecting to third-party applications, AW, HDS, DDS must be installed off-box. Automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech, multi-channel email interaction manager and web interaction manager, CTI OS silent monitoring, social minor, and CRM integration, which can be integrated a number of ways, including finesse gadgets, finesse APIs, and one of the other existing CRM connectors. Golden templates allow you to create reusable master copies for Cisco Contact Center applications for subsequent cloning and installation on virtual machines of any number of customers. This is often used by integrators that sell large numbers of these deployments. A template must be created for each of the following server types. The Cisco Unified Contact Center Enterprise Call and Data Server, the Cisco Unified Customer Voice Portal Call, VXML, and OAMP Server, the Cisco Unified Communications Manager, Cisco Unified Intelligence Center, and Cisco Finesse. Once the templates are created, they are used in conjunction with the automation tool to create the final virtual machines. Package CCE includes required specifications which are enforced. These include the use of OVAs when creating the virtual machines, fixed deployment parameters such as the VM layout and PG types, limits for active and configured objects, voice infrastructure, and third-party options. The specifications are important and allow Cisco to provide a stable, efficient, all-in-one contact center solution. These specifications also allow for a very consistent deployment among all customers, which allows for quicker resolutions when problems are encountered. One example of these specifications is the hardware specifications. Currently, only the UCSC 260M2 server is supported. This box provides ample processing and storage capacity, which includes dual 10-core CPUs, 128 gig of RAM, and 16 300 gigabyte hard drives. It also includes two integrated network interface cards. One is used for management, while the other is connected to the public network. Additionally, it has a quad 10 100 gigabit network card. One port is connected to the private network. The other three remain unused. Be sure to refer to the package CCE specifications document available at cisco.com for additional package CCE specifications. New to package CCE 9.0 is the Streamline web-based administration tools. This administration interface was created in order to make the configuration process much simpler and reduce the effort required to configure the system. Since this is a bounded solution, many parameters are preset, which reduces the number of parameters the administrator must configure. As mentioned earlier, Package CCE comes with predefined base configuration for things such as peripheral gateways 
and expanded call context for CVP. There are also predefined limits to the number of objects that can be configured as well as how many can be active at any given time. Let's take a closer look at some of these limits. We'll begin by looking at the agents, supervisor, and team limits. A maximum of 6,000 agent and supervisors may be configured, but only 1,000 of these may be active. 750 web email manager agents may be configured, but only 250 can be active. 1,500 mobile agents may be configured, but only 250 may be active. 600 supervisors, teams, and reporting users may be configured, but only 100 may be active. And 1,500 outbound may be configured, but only 250 active. Now let's look at the load limits. Congestion control monitors system load and then gracefully rejects calls when it exceeds a maximum of 8 calls per second. It then gradually recovers when the call load drops. For agent call load, 30 calls per agent per hour. For music on hold, 255 active. For transfers, 150 simultaneous. For conferences, 75 simultaneous. For web interaction manager and email interaction manager, 12 emails per hour and 10 chats per hour. For dialer ports, 900. For agent and IVR campaigns, a total of 100. Now let's look at call limits. Maximum of 3,000 dialed numbers, 3,000 skill groups, and 1,000 labels may be configured, but only 500 labels may be active. A maximum configured 1,000 call types and 500 active. CT per intervals, maximum of 2,000. CT skill groups per interval, maximum of 2,000 configured, only 1,000 active. Routing scripts, a maximum of 1,000 configured, but only 500 active. Skill group stats refresh, 10 seconds is default, and skill groups per agent, 15. While Communications Manager may be ran on the same UCS server as the other components, there may be times that this is not desired. Most often, this is in environments that already have a Communication Manager installed. This is often referred to as an off-box solution, since the Communication Manager is not on the same physical box as the other package CCE components. Both on-box and off-box deployments are supported, but it is important to understand that regardless of which method is chosen, the same specifications must be met. Refer to this chart for a summary of these specifications. While Package CCE provides a feature-rich contact center environment, there are a few features that are not supported in Package CCE 9.0. These include Cisco Agent Desktop, Cisco Agent Desktop Browser Edition, Contact Center Management Portal, Customer Voice Portal Call Director, Parent Child, Translation Route. Since there is only one Communication Manager peripheral in the deployment, Translation Route is not required to transfer CTI call context during an agent to agent transfer. ICM to ICM Gateway, Remote Silent Monitoring, TDM, Unified IP, IVR, and Video. This concludes the introduction to Package CCE presentation. You should now have a good understanding of the core components and features found within Package CCE.